Okay, today we have a uh, MP39 system. It's an old R12 system that somebody converted over to MP39 and on the compressor they put alka-benzene oil in it. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it says zero. Zero 150, uh, that's the old alka-benzene oil. And what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is, uh, it's just kicking in. Uh, the pressure control, the solenoid valve just opened up. And it's gonna go on as soon as the air goes, went on. The problem we're having with this is, is this is an old heat reclaim system. And in the back here, the back here, there's a heat reclaim valve. Pretty old and worn out. And what's happening is not shutting off. And it's sending heat in the summertime, it's sending heat in with the air conditioning coil. <laughs> what it's supposed to do is in the, in the wintertime, it's supposed to send the heat, uh, send it to the condenser, it sends it to the uh, coil, and it reheats the store. And this time of year, it's not supposed to send any heat into the coil that heats the store. It's supposed to send it to the condenser up on the uh, above you here. The condenser is right up above, but it's leaking and it's just worn out. So I and we're not really using it for heat reclaim anymore. So I'm going to cap it, cut it, and cap it, and at the same time, somebody had put MP39 in it which was a replacement for 12 because it had mineral-based oil in it. They changed the oil to uh, Alka Benzene. They should have just changed it to POE oil and put 134A in it years ago. This compressor's been here since 94. But that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to change this to 134A, change the dryer filter, and cap the uh, uh, heat reclaim valve and remove it from the system pretty much. But I, I'm going to, first thing I have to do is reclaim the refrigerant to get it all out of the system. Ohio spider right there. That's okay. Let me throw over the leg. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, got the recovery tank set up. We're taking the liquid right now out of the receiver tank through the uh, gauges, through the recovery machine, into the recovery tank. And we're taking the MP39 out. I just took back uh, a couple of HB80 tanks. Changed over to MB39 back in 97. And that's when the Montreal Protocol kicked in. So it's had my MB39 in it for a lot of years. Okay, we're gonna, I gotta start take, changing the dryer filter. And I have to start piping back here. This next step. I'm removing the old alpha benzene oil now. This is a siphon. And it's made by Thermal Engineering. It's a very good tool. Use these since the 70s for changing oil. Sometimes you want to change oil if there's a compressor burnout. You want to get the old oil out of the system. the benzene out as much as possible and I'm going to put in POE oil in there. That's the good stuff. Right now we're just getting the old oil out. Now I have this dipstick all the way to the bottom of the oil sump. It's a plug 
pressure, so all the Freon came flying out. He was going to put some oil in the compressor, you know. He, he stopped trying to fix it himself after that. Lost all the Freon in the system. Got coated with oil. We're taking the oil out. You can see the foam in the oil down here. That's the Freon in the oil. and it takes a long time. That's why the, uh, it takes a long time is because the Freon is sitting down in the oil in the vacuum. You're reducing the pressure above the oil and the gas has to bubble out. It takes a while to get it all out. the heat reclaim three-way valve off and I bypassed the uh, Randall line bypassed it now no more heat the heat was going into the in inner coil to, uh, heating up the store in the, in the summertime and now it's eliminated we got that brazed in uh, I'm pulling a vacuum I, I checked it for uh, put nitrogen checked it for leaks Change the dryer filter, I dated it. And we're down to 342 microns right now. I'm gonna let it go as far as it'll go and then I'll pull it in probably a couple minutes. And then I just have to pull my uh, hose up. I got new hoses today. Um, with new Appian hoses. I had a problem with the Appian hose. The little clip here. I tightened it up and the and, uh, uh, clip came out and the, the hose just came apart. It took a little struggle to get it together again and I put it together apprehensively on another job. The last vacuum I pulled. So I ordered new ones and I got them in today and I bought, put them in. They're a little pricey but they're good. I forgot what I paid for them but it was, it was a little bit of money. But they're good, good hoses. These seem a little more flexible than the other ones were. I'm a little happy about that. The other ones are a little stiff, a little hard to bend around. But I'm going to uh, down to 3, 332, 333. And then I have to charge it up with them. I put the POE oil in here. And I have to see what the level is when it's running. I have to, uh, I want to circulate it a little bit. And then I uh, uh, put the 134A and I labeled it. I crossed off the MP39. And then we'll start this guy up and see what we get. Okay, we're hitting the, we're in the 250 microns, 254. So I'm gonna shut it off there. Take it out of a, you know, uh, put some gas in the system. Take it out of a vacuum. But that's pretty good. I don't want to go below 250. But when you go below 250, you start breaking down the oil, fractionating the oil. And I don't want to fractionate the oil. I, but, uh... Okay, I got it running pretty okay. I'm pretty happy with it. It's. Uh, 17 pounds suction, 134A, 123 head. My um, 
got an 18 degree evaporator. It's uh, 20 would be good, but 18 is close. I put a little bit more oil in. Let me see if I can get this here in my flashlight. I don't know if you can see that. You see the oil level is about three quarters up, five eighths up. That's good. It's important to check the oil on these things. Sometimes you get dirt in the uh, uh, sight glass. You got to put a little, put a little oil on your finger, put it in there, and then wipe it with the cloth. My sight glass, My sight glass is over there. Let's see if I can catch you through this. My side class looks pretty good, nice and full. I've got a clear, uh, got a full column of liquid going to the expansion valve. The valves are, is this a dairy case this is on? The, the valve's got a few miles on it, but I checked it the other day, it seemed to be okay. And uh, that's it, guys. That's about it. 80 degrees, 85 degrees today, something like that. Nice little breeze, comfortable July day. We got that uh, Republican conventions going on in Cleveland a few miles from here, about 20 minutes from here. That's a big thing down there. I'm glad I'm not anywhere near that mess. I mean, the traffic's got to be terrible. You get streets blocked off and all that. They're having their fun. Okay. Later.